Today we're going to be revisiting the dagger. The first part of the lesson is going to be powering on and initialization of the dagger. So the first thing you can do is hold the power button. Rockwell Collins pops up. You get some warnings. Battery self test. Bagger may not be keyed. Press both arrows to clear that out. Power batteries are getting low. Memory batteries getting low. Clear out all those tracks. Currently we're tracking for signals from satellites. It's acquiring signals while it's doing that. We're going to go into the menu. Select op mode. I'm going to go up to continuous. And that is done. Now we're going to go to a few more settings. Menu. Menu again. Receiver setup. We're going to go down to power saver. And then the auto off mode. Select that. Turn that to off. Auto standby mode. Go ahead and select that. Turn that to off. Now if we hold the present position page, that'll give us our present position. It's currently not flashing, so we have satellite signal. Uh, and now, the last part of this is that if you want to go ahead and clear out all the data from the dagger, just hold the zero eyes buttons, the power button, and the present position page at the same time. Activate emergency zero eyes, press enter to confirm. Zero eyes in progress. Emergency zero eyes passed. That means that all of the data that was in here has been cleared out. Use that in case it's going to about fall into enemy hands or you're about to be captured. <clears throat> so just to double check, if I go to my menu, select op mode, that's back to standby. It hasn't been changed over to continuous because it's been Z'd out. All right, to power off the dagger, just hold the power button. Power down in 30 seconds. Press enter for quick off, and it's off. All right, now for the second part of the lesson, we're going to get into entering waypoints. Uh, for speed purposes, I've already set up and initialized the dagger. We have our present position located. So now we're going to go to menu. Menu again for main menu. Go to waypoints, routes, and alerts. Waypoints. None are entered, so we're going to enter one. Go to 001. Select name, waypoint 001. That works for me. So we go ahead and save that. Change the grid location. Change this to 32 uniform. Quebec Alpha 10908. 09042. And then we're going to hit enter. Now to go back, we're going to hit the power quit button. It says save waypoint, enter to save, waypoint stored, enter to acknowledge. Go down, all right, 002, waypoint 002 works for me. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 32 uniform Quebec Alpha 109. One five oh nine oh six nine. Hit enter. Power quit. Save waypoint. Saved. All right, we've entered two waypoints. <clears throat> so now, let's say we're going to go ahead and navigate to waypoint zero zero one. You go to menu, menu for main menu, navigation, nav setup. We're going to go direct to waypoint 001, and we're going to make waypoint alert mode on. So now, as I approach this waypoint, it'll give me an alert that says when I've come up on the uh, up on the waypoint.
for the third part of the lesson, we're going to go into making a route. So what I'm going to do is go to menu, menu again, waypoint routes and alerts. We need to construct a route. So we're going to go down here to route. I'm going to create route 001, name route 1. Alert radius, when we become within 5 meters of one of the points on route on route 1, it'll let us know via uh, a, a message on the screen itself. So if we're going in a, a foot patrol, we want to make this a small number, so we're right up on our waypoints. And if you're in a vehicle, it might be a few meters off. The road, road size might dictate the size of the waypoint that you're going through, so you can adjust this accordingly. So you can make this maybe... 50 meters and save it that way. That's how you'd adjust that. We're gonna go back to five though. So take this down to zero, two, three, four, five, and enter. All right, so the first waypoint is our current position. Next part of the waypoint, we're gonna select waypoint one. Next part of the waypoint, we're gonna select waypoint two. That's our route, it's already built. So now we're going to hit power quit. Save route, yes, enter to save. Route stored. All right, now to navigate the route, we're gonna to go to menu, menu again, navigation, nav setup. Instead of going direct to a waypoint, we're going to go via route to route one, starting with leg zero, direction forward, to waypoint one, route one, leg zero. Ah, so here we have the waypoint alert. We're going to change this over to manual. So now, when we come up on on waypoint one in route one, it's going to give us a press enter to continue on leg two. So we'll hit the first leg, hit enter, continue down the second leg. All right. So that's how to build a route. Present position page. Go position, position again. And this is route to rate waypoint 001. In the final part of the lesson, what we're going to do is use the alert section to make an alert for a specific known point. And then we are going to make a phase line alert. So to do the phase line, we'll start with that. Go to a menu, menu again, waypoints, routes, alerts. Go down to alerts, and we're gonna take alert number one. We're gonna call this phase line PL, P, L, Wolf. Okay, phase line wolf type. We're gonna make this a, go down, phase line. It's gonna be disabled to start, and alert status is not gonna be valid. We have to enter waypoint one as the start point of phase line wolf, enter waypoint two as the end line of waypoint two, of phase line wolf. So when you're creating a phase line in the battlefield, you'll need to know the start point and the end point to be able to make it into a phase line on the dagger. All right, now that we've entered the waypoints, we can go up here, mode, enabled, and now if we cross this, this imaginary phase line, it'll give us an alert that we're crossing phase line wolf. Now, let's go power quit, save alert, yes. Now we're going to go down here. Let's say we have an IED where we have a known point that we need to avoid. So this type is going to be a hazard. Mode is going to be disabled and alert status not valid. We want to go, if it's an IED, let's say 200 meters. Two, 205 meters sounds good. Enter. 
center waypoint. Let's use one of these previous waypoints. And now we can go up again, type hazard, mode, enabled. As soon as we come close to that, it'll give us an alert that we're entering a hazardous area. So then we'll power quit, save alert, hazard entered, alert stored. So we're close enough on the grid coordinates to our test area that we've actually entered the hazard area and it gave us an alert on that already. So present position page. <clears throat> All right, and then the final, final key to this is if you're driving along, navigating with the dagger and you have a point of interest that you wanna save, there's a quick save button using the F1 function. You can mark a waypoint. So just hold F1 what pops up is mark present position. So if we're driving along and we see a position that we want to emplace at, you can go ahead and hold F1, mark it for a previous as a reference point. So now we hit enter to store waypoint. Waypoint stored. Now if we go to menu, menu again, waypoints routes alerts, go up to waypoints. We have the two previous ones that we've entered and the mark 003 that we just marked with the F1 function. That's a little bit of bonus material for uh, this training purpose.